Hey students, it's me, Miss Fitz. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you the Geo Lantern mastery assignment. So let's read through it together. So first off, we're going to plot some points on the pumpkin below to create a Geo Lantern. Um, and so how do we do that? Well, we need two acute triangular eyes, uh, one rhombus for a nose, and one trapezoid for a mouth. And then lastly, we're going to label our coordinates, uh, calculate the area, and decorate our pumpkin. Oh, and also we have to describe our shapes too. So let's go through each of these steps. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and plot some points. So I'm going to plot acute triangular eyes, meaning all of the angles have acute angles or less than 90 degrees. And so here we go. I have two triangles. One looks like it's kind of winking or something like that. Pretty cool. I'm going to check that off. All right, got that. Um, and then I want a rhombus for a nose. And so the nice thing about the coordinate plane, a rhombus actually has diagonals that are perpendicular. And so there's a diagonal right down here and then over here. So notice that these diagonals of the rhombus form a right angle. So it's actually easy to draw a rhombus on the coordinate plane. Um, and so there you go. And then actually, actually the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors, meaning they cut each other in half. We're going to learn more about that as the year goes on. So there's my rhombus. Then I need a trapezoid. Okay, so there's my trapezoid. Um, I got a, it's actually a right trapezoid. And please make sure you're using a straight edge. We want to make sure this is neat, um, neat and accurate. Neatness and pre well, precision and creativity are part of the rubric. So you'll see that. Um, so just make sure you're using straight lines and using a straight edge, a ruler, or something like that, um, or your student ID, whatever. Uh, just something that has a straight edge to make sure your lines are nice and straight. Um, then we're going to label our coordinates. So here, if you can't remember how to label coordinates, we go the x coordinates first. So for example, like this point over here, I count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's my x coordinate. And then up 1, 2, 3, that's my y coordinate. 5, 3, 4, 5, and then this would be like negative 4, 5. Hopefully this is bringing back memories. All right, now this is where it gets a little trickier because we have to calculate the areas. So, for example, I want the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The area of a rectangle is base times height. And the area of a trapezoid is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. You can always break these into smaller shapes, right? Like, so if I think about this rhombus, I could break it into two triangles, find the area of each one. Here, this triangle, you can use this as the base and this is the height. And there we go. This, actually, we can't really use base height on this one, but remember, we could always like put a rectangle around it and then subtract out these other triangles here to figure out the area of that. The trapezoid, you could break it into a rectangle and a couple in a triangle if you wanted, or you could use the trapezoid formula your choice. Um, there you go. And so once we calculate all of the areas, last thing we need to do is describe our shapes. What do they look like? And decorate it. So here's my spooky pumpkin Ooh, with a nice bat, a little witch, and Frankenstein's monster. Feel free to look at my drawings and use them as inspiration. Frankenstein's monster, I think, is giving a thumbs up there. Oh, and there's a moon. Anyway, so I'm going to also show you how to use Desmos Graphing Calculator for this, uh, and then stay tuned for that. So don't turn it off yet. Thanks. So I just wanted to show you how to use the Desmos. Whoa, I'm a jack lantern. Cool. Um, I wanted to show you how to use the Desmos Graphing Calculator uh, for this project too. So over here, uh, and I'll give you a link to this. What you can do is just make a copy of this um, and go ahead and you know graph your shapes on here. So basically, you don't want to amend this folder here because it has all of the other stuff. But this will just be your work workspace here. So if you wanted to put in like a polygon or any type of shape, what you have to do is just type the word polygon, an open parenthesis, and then another open parenthesis. And then you're going to just enter in coordinates. So for a triangle, we need three coordinates, right? So like, so here, like, let's say we want to use like, I don't know, negative three, four is the tip of the triangle. So that would be negative three comma four, close the parentheses and then a comma. And then say, I want the triangle to go, I don't know, over here to like negative six, two. Close that parentheses hit a comma, and then say I wanted to go up to, I don't know, three negative, uh, no, like 
negative two, three, something like that. And then we can just take a look at it. Oh, that's a cool triangle actually. And then you can change the color if you just hold it on, uh, click on this and hold down on it and look, I can change it purple or green, uh, whatever I want. So that's all you have to do to create your polygons. Um, you can then go ahead and you know copy this and make another one. Or if you just want to type it in separately, you just keep typing them here. So um, there you go. And then, oh, also, if you wanted to add some images, you like say you have like a picture of a, I don't know, a wolf or something you wanted to add. If you just click on this and you can add an image and I'll show you how to do that. Hold on. So yeah, you're just going to click on here and then click the little plus and image. And just wherever you have it saved on your folder, here I have my Howling Wolf. Um, unfortunately, it won't do a GIF, but that's okay. Um, and then if you want to change where it's located, so you just change the center. So say I wanted it centered like up here in the top left. So like say it like, I don't know, negative eight, eight. So I just change this to negative eight, eight. And then I can change the size, right? I can change the width to like five and five or something like that. And there you go. And there's my little wolf up in the corner. So there you go. Uh, that's how you use the Desmos graphing calculator. So hopefully this helps and uh, happy Halloween. Wow.